So now let's see what happens with the discrimination test. So most of the original file is going to remain the same. Um, everything, all that is the same. There's a difference here with stimulus medial silence duration. It's a duration between, um, so the discrimination test paradigm I've chosen is uh, an AX. That means you've got two sounds and the listener has to decide whether they are different or same. So you've got, for example, ER and this controls how much time there's going to be of silence between the two uh, members of each pair. So I've chosen 0 0.5 seconds. So number of different stimuli I've put are uh, every single combination of EAU. So it's going to be six. Number of replications, 100, it doesn't matter. Break after whatever you want. Start text, click to start, whatever, run text, same or different. And so the only difference with an identification test, so it's going to be this, it's going to be the, the way you declare your sounds because you've got two sounds this time separated by um, a coma. And then um, there's going to be a difference here. So number of different responses is going to be two this time. Um, we've got two boxes in which uh, you've got the words same and different. Um, when uh, I'm going to get the results file, um, I'm going to have S for same and D for different. All of this is customizable, so it's up to you. And I have given my listeners the opportunity um, or the choice to use the keyboard to give their responses and I gave S for same and L for different. Um, it doesn't sound uh, reasonable, logical, but if you use S and D, they are um, side by side. So I prefer using two, um, two buttons, two keys that are far apart. And so there you go, it's very easy. And then I'm going to run it run click ah uh, so there is a half a second um of silence between the two i've gonna be okay same e oof different and of course whatever obviously this is not a real test because i should have um included EEs uh, uh, and UU as well but it doesn't matter it's just an example but you should include um, identical stimuli or pairs of identical stimuli so this is what we call an AX um, paradigm so for your discrimination you have a pairs of stimuli so you've got two sounds each time um, what you can do is uh, use an AXB uh, paradigm, that means that you've got three uh, sounds each time and you're asking from your listener uh, for them to respond whether the um, second sound is more similar to the first one or to the third one. So there's going to be a slight difference here of course, it's going to be something like E R R E R U and then E E R. I'm gonna give another examples. R R R. Um, etc. etc. So you give uh, every single combination. Um, and then it's going to be a difference here in your um, response um, thingy. So instead of using two responses, you've got to have three boxes. Um, let's give it, take it from here. Um, and then I'm going to do something like this. 
So first, second, third, A and B. So let's see what is gonna give. Ah, uh, there's a problem. Of course, when there's a problem, you shouldn't panic. So you've got only two boxes here, of course, because the number of different responses, it should be three boxes. Save. Then you reopen the file. Call run. So you can have either the first one, so is the second more similar to the first one or the third one. Of course you have to change this text as well, so it's as easy as it seems. So this is what you can do, um, what you should do for AX and AXB paradigms.